an answer due, which means you get one of these. But it's not about that, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because you're playing for two charities tonight, June. One is about the donkeys. And uh, children with special needs. And children with special needs. Yeah. And the other is the dementia charity. Right. Which is very close to your heart, we know that. So there's £30,000 at stake if income tax is the top answer. Is income tax the missing top answer for £30,000? Charities. But I did get three of the top answers. <laughs> he just got them first. Yes. <laughs> that's right. That's Money, right, bed, right. and contact. You're going to start arguing about that all the way home. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going in a separate car. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's not forget, Louise. You won that trip to Jamaica, which is another argument that you've got to have at home. Who thank you, you for take? reminding oh, me, yeah. and thank you so much. Uh, it's a it pleasure. Absolutely it's a incredible. pleasure. And Hannah, you've won the trip to Alden Towers as well. Congratulations. So often you didn't get anything, but you did really well. No. I've <laughs> <laughs> got a kiss from you. Exactly. She's coming with me. Uh, they've been a fantastic family, haven't they? I think you'll agree. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> so a big thanks to both our families. Join us next time when we play Family Fortunes. Good night. Coming up on All Star Family Fortune, it's Brooke Vincent, Rick McCarran. <laughs> Did you see I pronounced my T then? Oh, your boss. Have a day off. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Donnell, the home of homes. Nobody asks to have a lifetime of memories slowly erased. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, Mum. Nobody asks to have a loved one not recognise them. Mum? OK. Nobody asks to have their dignity gradually taken away from them. Nobody asks to feel lonely or confused. But today, you could change this for everybody living with dementia. By leaving a gift in your will to Alzheimer's Society, you'll help fund life-changing support, vital campaigning and groundbreaking research to tackle Britain's biggest killer. Discover the impact your gift can make and how our free will writing service can help guide you through this process. Call 0800 473 0211 or search Alzheimer's Society Wills. All talent set, please. This is your final call. Come on, what are we waiting for? Oh, lovely. That's nice, that, guys. Oh. One more coat. Is he always like this? Yeah. He always takes ages. So vain. Jill Scott and Mo Gilligan join the gang in brand new A League of Their Own, available from Wednesday. 
Rick and Morty is a shop. Five hundred dollars. That's for you, not for me. I'm a local. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was that. Oh, that's how it works. Is it? <laughs> We are hashtag blessed to have the world's most successful game show right here. Buzz in for Classic Millionaire. Weeknights at 10 on Challenge. On Strike It Lucky Tonight, a jackpot of £3,000. Slumber in style, drift off to dreamland with a new bedroom suite. And while you're at it, keep the body beautiful tanned with a sunbed. On the other hand, who needs a sunbed if you win our magnificent holiday in Florida? All these prizes to be won tonight on Strike It Lucky! Now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore! Here we go, over here. Thank you very much. Thank you, what? Hello. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show and welcome to Hello. Wynn. How are you, Wynn? Fine, thank you. Nice yeah. to meet you, Wynn. And who's this? Daughter Francis. Sylvia. Sylvia. <laughs> That's you said Francis. You've forgotten your name, have you? Yeah. Oh, never mind. It's probably the nerves, is it? Yeah, well, it could be that. You feel all relaxed now, do you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah now yeah. I've met you. Now we've... Oh, That's well, no. all now I've met you after Lovely a bit. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. Well, how's things with you then, Wynn? Oh, they're fine, thank you. Yeah, yeah. so and whereabouts are yeah. you from? Lippock in Hampshire, near Portsmouth. Oh, and what about you, Sylvia? What do you do for a living? I'm a technical advisor in a health food concern. Uh, what, the factory side? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sort of health, health yeah. foods, you say? Yeah, muesli and bars and apricots and prunes. And... Apricots and prunes. Yeah. <laughs> no parsnips. Hey? No parsnips. No parsnips. <laughs> what do you nudge it for? <laughs> What's wrong with parsnips? What do they do? <laughs> Are you referring to the thing that happened on uh, no, Coronation no, Street? No, Is that no, what? No. Oh, it's so that yeah, was so what an event that, that was, <laughs> eh? I've had them for years and never got me a part in Coronation Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you got ten children? Yeah. Seven daughters and three sons. So what have you been eating? <laughs> <laughs> There's no television in my day. So you just looks like with well, ten kids you overdosed on them, really. I didn't must you? have done, yeah, yes. My mouth one did. Hey? My mouth one did. Yeah. Uh, did he uh, does he like parsnips? Well he doesn't know he's dead now, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not no, laughing at that. I've uh, no, we had a loss in our family recently. I know what it's like. I know. Oh, my, my, my years ago. <laughs> oh dear, my Eddie would have found that funny as well. I mean, I'm, <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Oh, it's just the way you, it's your face, you know. He's only dead now. So <laughs> oh, dear. Well, it was 13 years ago. It was so, 13 years yeah. ago, but I'm sure the memory's still there. Yeah, and, so and, are, and you're yeah. a fine lady. And thanks for all the tips. Everybody will be having the party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, dear. Hi, Dave. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hello. Charlene, yes. is that the right pronunciation? Yes. Nice to meet you. Dave, parsnips, like them? Now and again. <laughs> <laughs> now and again. How old are you, then? No, sir. And uh, Charlene, what about you? What about me? <laughs> you, uh, boy, friend, girlfriend? Yeah, he's my boyfriend. <laughs> what, 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 do, what do you do, Dave? I'm unemployed at the You're moment. unemployed at the moment. Yeah. What do you do before? I was a civil engineer. And what, what are you hoping to do? The same sort of work? If I can, yeah. Yeah? yeah. You're managing OK at the moment? Not too bad. Bit of a struggle? It is, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's not. I know, I had many years of it myself, mm. so it's not very funny. Yeah, you've, you've got plenty of time. Yeah. I've been for all that. Just yeah. do anything. Yeah. I've cleaned cars, work for Sainsbury's. I've cleaned cars there, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what about you, Charlene? I'm a student at Brighton College doing hairdressing and beauty therapy. Yeah, are you? <laughs> <laughs> and where did you two meet? In the pub. Oh, yeah. And you got any ambitions? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind turning out for the Arsenal. You like to play football, oh, is yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. You good football? You play Sunday football Saturday? Saturday football. Yeah? yeah, all Saturday, all the big stuff, eh? Yeah. And what about you, Charlene? Any ambitions? Oh, I'd like to get on being a beauty therapist, do well. You'd just like to do what you're you happy doing, what you're doing. Yeah. You don't want to be successful at it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I wish you all the best to you, a lovely couple, and Thanks you. Very much. I hope you get your job soon. Cheers. And there we are. And there we are. Enjoy the show. Try and win a bit of money, eh? All right. Oh, yeah. You've got your thing around there. Hi, hey, Tony. Hello, How are you? Hello, Hello Barbara. Hello. How are you, dear? All right. You've married the two of you? Not quite. No, not quite. What does that mean? 
<laughs> well, what are you shocked for? I'm joking. Hey, you're joking. Whoa. A Geordie accent there. A little fishy and a little dishy. Hello, Worm! Hey, hey! Oh. You all right, Tony? Yes, very well. All right, let's find out a bit about you now. Um, so, you're friends, are you? Yes. Yeah, and Barbara, you, whereabouts do you live? Bermondsey. Where I was born? Yes. Mm, and you from there as well? Yes, Bermondsey. I was born Lovely there, people down, there. Down by the docks. Uh, what, 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 what do you do, Barbara? How did you meet him? It's a club. Yeah. It did, uh, do you mind me asking? Can I can I show him something? Can you just come out here a minute? I want to, because I I, I want, and although I don't meet you till the actual evening in front of the audience, I saw you up, say, upstairs in the afternoon. Oh, did you, you didn't know that, did you? No. See, I have a look at you. See, yeah? And I was looking at you, and I said, "What a lovely figure you've got," because then then they told me that you're what? How old are you? I'm 83. 83, 83 and I think that's quite some figure, if you don't mind me saying. All right. Okay. That's all I was going to say. So, anything funny happened to you at all, Barbara, that you can tell us about? Yes. Well, I, I generally babysit, you see, for yeah. my granddaughter. Yeah. So, when she was going over on the Saturday night, she says, Now, Nanny, go in the big bed for the little boy. Oh, we had to look after the kids, yeah. And I'll stay there all night, you see. So, she told me to go in the big bed. Yeah. But never mind, cutting the long story short, oh, I no. went in the little bed. Oh, you went in the little bed? The day, I didn't hear them come back. He just gets the back of me. Who, the, your son-in-law? Yeah. Oh. I guess in the back of me. Yeah. And I woke up. Oh, yes. And I just felt his big... <laughs> his, his big arm. His big what? His big arm. The, his arm? Come around me. <laughs> <laughs> a shock. <laughs> yes. I, I, did, I got a shock. You got a shock? I've well, never had a man in, be, in my bed. Oh, yeah. I says, Bill? This is Nanny. He said, God, I thought you went to the bed. Oh. And then what did he do? Oh, he's run. <laughs> he yeah. run? He had no pyjamas on. He had no pyjamas on? Little, little short pants. Little short pants? I had a look. You had a look? I had a look. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and what did you see, Barbara? Oh, <laughs> run. He run. I had a good look, though, mate. Oh. <laughs> Well, now we know where the parsnip ended up. All right, OK. That's nice to meet you. Lovely story. Enjoy yourself. Let's welcome on. Let's enjoy yourself. Thank you, Tony. Best of luck to you all. Good luck. Well done. All right. We tossed the card earlier on to the side. going first. So if your partners would like to go to the places, we can start. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Let's encourage them. Here we go. Good luck, Barbara. Here we go. Man, go down the stairs. All right. Good luck, Wynn. Good luck, David. Good luck, Tony. There we go. There we are. Come along, Barbara. There we go. Mm. All right. The first category for you, win is where's it kept? Two, three or four? Two, oh, three or four? Two, two at the moment. Two at the moment. All right, then. Where does a honeybee carry pollen? <clears throat> On its back. Is wrong, I'm afraid. Oh. David, where does a honeybee carry pollen? On its legs. On its legs is right. Where is an elephant's nose? In its trunk. That's right. Simple as that. Two moves. All right. OK. All right, first screen absolutely free. We've got to avoid those hot spots. So, straight to screen. What is the hot spot done? <laughs> a video recorder. Do you want to bang that? What are you going on? What are you going, on? going on? Oh, all right, OK. <laughs> He's staring me, aren't he? <laughs> OK. A driver, Brands Hatch, and the video recorder. All right. OK. We go on to the next category, where, which is called spherical objects for you, Tony. Spherical objects. Two, three, or four. Two, please. Right. Roger Miller had a hit song about his little green ones. <laughs> Melons. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. OK, win for you. Roger Miller had a hit song about his little green ones. Apples. That's right. These are made of metal and can be found inside a cycle wheel. Bearings. That's right. Tim is yours. All oh, right, here we go. Uh, wait. OK, see? Sylvia. So well done. Just come in there. First screen free for you. Strike the screen. Let's see what you got. Cashmere sweaters. Do you want to back those or is there something on the next screen? What are you going to do? Going on? Going on? It's up to you. They're very expensive sweaters. Go on, off you go. You do what you want. <laughs> Christy. Christy. <laughs> a lot of French and the cashmere sweaters. Well done. OK, we go on to the next category, which is soccer for you, David. I think you've fallen on your feet with this category. Soccer, two, three or four? Three. Three. Oh, we're getting daring, eh, Dave? Yeah. All right. Which city has both a forest and a county soccer club? Nottingham. 
For which team does John Barnes play? Liverpool. In which soccer city would you find a club called Argyle? Plymouth. That's right, three moves to yours. There you go. That's the luck of the draw. <laughs> He's mad about football, so good luck. There you go, off you go. Oh, no. wow. <laughs> at least you got that out of the way. It's a bit unfair. I mean, the questions go like this. It can be very difficult or extremely easy. Now, the next one's hair colours for you, Tony. Two, three or four. Hair colours. Uh, two. Two. A vivacious, red-headed comedian. Lucy Ball. A legendary blonde sex symbol. Jane Man. You're off two. There we go. Oh, all right. OK. All right, Barbara. Off you go, then. Strike the screen. Let's see how you're going to do. Dinner in Paris. Oh, now, what would you like to do? Do you want to bank it or is there something on the next screen? What are you going to do? Actually, what do you want to do? You going on? Oh, all right, you're taking a... Hey? I don't know what it is. Hostess Johnny and a dinner in Paris. Well done. OK, all right, we go on to the next category, which is singers. For you, win singers. Two, three or four? Singers. Two, please. Two. He had a hit, When I Fall in Love. A song when I fall in love. Who sang that? Nat King Cole. Sailing was one of his hits. Sailing was one Rod of his. Stewart. That's right. Two is yours. <laughs> okay. Okay, Sylvia. Yes. Right, strike the screen. Let's see what's next. Two hundred pound. Nice. Two hundred pound. We're going to bank it. We're going to bank it. Okay. We're bank it. They're going to bank it. You're going to keep the money. Well done. All right. We're going to the next category. Back here with you, Dave. Uh, famous people. Two, three, or four. Two. Please. Two. A great ballet dancer. Fontaine. A, a popular painter. Renoir. That's right, two moves to yours. OK. <laughs> OK, sight screen, Charlene. Here you go. 150 pounds. You want to bank it or is this another one? OK, you got a It's up to you. Got a hot spot yet? Yeah. Oh, you have? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to work out. I've, there's no way of knowing. A new suit at 150 pounds. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. Nice new suit, eh, Dave? Dapper. Oh, eh? Dapper. No, it won't be. It's a oh. ladies' one. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I suppose it's one each. So I suppose there we go. Right, Tony, music's a category two, three, or four. Two, please. All right. With which uh, instrument do you associate the following musicians? Yehudi Menuhin. Uh, violin. Uh, Eric Clapton. What does he play? Eric Clapton. Drums? No, he doesn't, I'm afraid. Wynn, do you know what Eric Clapton plays? Trumpet. He doesn't play a oh, trumpet. God. Dave? <laughs> Guitar. Guitar's right. You take the two moves. OK. Strike the screen. Off you go. There we are. Oh, I knew that was going to be in there. I had a feeling about it. Never mind, you got it out of the way and you're still in the lead. We're going to the next category. Back with you, Tony. Russians. Two, three or four? Two. Who was the Tsar of Russia? Nicholas. Is right and famous for his jewelled Easter eggs supplied to the Russian court. Famous for his jewelled Easter eggs. Fabergé. Fabergé is right, two moves to yours. Well done. <laughs> Off you go then, Barbara. Strike the screen. Let's see what you got. Oh, <laughs> never mind. OK, that's out the way. Bones is the next category. With you, win two, oh three God. or four. Bones. Two. Two. What is another name for the bones of your backbone? Vertebrae. What do we call the link between one bone and another? What do we call the link Joint. between... Joint. Eh? Joint. That's right, two moves. There we go. <laughs> Sylvia, strike the screen. Let's see what's in here. That'd be nice. Hot Not very nice at all. <laughs> all right. That must be most of them out of the way. I'll see how many are. All right, we're going to the next category, which is... God, I don't believe this. Soccer 91 for you, David. <laughs> this is all at random, I can assure you, so you've been very lucky. Which... Club won the 1991 English League Championship. Arsenal. Yeah! <laughs> I see the terraces are coming. <laughs> <laughs> and which side won the European Cup Winners' Cup? No help from the audience, please. Manchester which... United. United, that's right, two moves to yours. <laughs> All right, Charlene, strike the screen. A bedroom suite. <laughs> go on. Hey, we go on. Sure? All right, you don't want to bank it? Really? Save your mother making the bed up. <laughs> Go on, yeah. strike the screen. <laughs> a week in Spain oh. and a bedroom suite. Nice one. Just come down here, Charlie. OK, this is the point of the show where you've got to decide whether you're going to bank those two prizes or answer the main strike it lucky question. We'll see what they're going to do in a couple of minutes' time. See you after the break. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>
When you leave a gift in your will to guide dogs, Hello, Teddy. Can I... you can only imagine where it might lead. It might lead to a first school run and the joy of independence. It might lead to a first day at work and the confidence to break barriers. It might lead to a first day of freedom and a life lived to the full. Every six minutes in the UK, one more person loses their sight. But you can help create a future where anyone with sight loss can live the life they choose. Your gift to guide dogs could lead anywhere. But it will always lead towards a life transformed. To find out how you can make your life-changing will for free, call 0800 694 0800 or search online for guide dogs free wills. Checking out her new shopping haul. Got a party, new outfit and all. Ooh, chalky milkshake. That stain's gonna be a nightmare. But it's okay. Mum's got new Bold Platinum with extra stain removal. On cold, of course. Bit of cherry blossom and rose water and life's good again. Now she's off out with her friends. She's living her best life again. New Bold Platinum with extra stain removal. Always keep away from children. It's competition time. How would you like to win £7,000 cash? This is our brand new competition with a huge jackpot of £7,000 in tax-free cash. For your chance to win £7,000, you must find the TV programme we've hidden in this letter grid. Here's a little hint. The hidden TV programme is about a doctor that flies through space and time in a TARDIS. Calls will only last one minute. To win £7,000, you will have 60 seconds from now to try and find the hidden TV program. Once you've spotted it, call the competition entry line on screen for your chance to win £7,000. Keep looking for the hidden TV program. Remember, calls will last only one minute for your chance to win £7,000. You could also win an additional £3,000 by finding the name of a planet we have also hidden in the letter grid. Find both words and £10,000 could be yours. Over 18s only. Full TNCs at www.winfall.co.uk. Keep looking as we're nearly out of time. Try and find the hidden TV program in the grid for the chance to win £7,000 cash. Remember, there's also the name of a planet hidden in the grid. If you can find the hidden planet, you can win an additional prize of £3,000 cash. Enter by calling the competition entry line on screen. I hope you found the TV program hidden in the grid. Good luck! Enjoy more of the latest blockbusters on Sky Cinema with Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I am Puss in Boots. I have nine lives. How many times have you died already? Is half shellfish in it? Ah! What? What do you wish to do with your last life? The wishing star. Please will get me my lives back. This is gonna be fun. Fear me if you dare. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Available now on Sky Cinema. I found disability interesting. Derek can't communicate nonverbal with cerebral palsy. When I met Derek, I sat in the class with him and provided communication support. Facilitators were doing this, thinking they were giving people the ability to be able to communicate. She looked at Derek and said, do you want me to tell him? She said, yes. We have made love. And he said, you know, I've dreamed about this. She was having conversations with herself. Anna is a pathological liar and narcissist. I'm not guilty of a crime. Part two, strike it lucky. Now, the situation we have, we've got Barbara down there just coming up to the halfway mark. Uh, Sylvia's just over the halfway mark. And Charlene and David, you're here on the end monitor. Now, what do you want to do? You've got the holiday in Spain. <laughs> I don't know whereabouts in Spain, but there you are. Bedroom suite as well. You back those, they're safe, or you can answer the question. What do you want to do? You've got to bank the prizes and take the holiday. All right, OK. We go on to the next category. We're back with you, Tony. Two, three or four. The category is detectives. Four. Four. Oh, he's going for it. This American detective is famed for his dirty raincoat and old car. 
Columbo. Right, this English detective is based in Oxford and his name is the same as a type of code. The name is the same... Morse. Na right, his arch enemy is Moriarty. Sherlock Holmes. And he is a bumbling French detective. Clouseau. That's right, four moves, well done. Very good. Have we go, Barbara? Strap the screen, just come in a little bit, my love. There you go. 150 pounds, you want to bank it? What are you going to do? Yeah. Going over? One more. All right, then, one more. Well, you've got a choice of four, if you, you, you want. You may not, you don't know. A safari park day out and the 150 pound. Now, you're going to back those two, you're going to take a chance. Oh, no. All right, OK, no. Ooh, good luck. <laughs> a set of satin sheets, a safari park day out and 150 pound. And you want to bank it or risk it coming on the next screen? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? You're going on. Think of it. Hey, they're banking it. That's sensible. All right. OK. You go on to the next category. Winifred, it's with you. Uh, Two, three, or four. The category is capital cities. There's four moves to go. Two, three, or four. I'll try three. Which are the capital cities of the following countries? Spain. What's the capital city of Spain? Rome. Oh, sorry. No, sorry, no. when I can't uh, ask you, and I don't, don't have to ask you any questions, David, because you're already on the end monitor. So you have done a very wise thing, it seems, uh, providing you get this right, of course. <laughs> You've uh, banked those prizes, there's no risk involved. You just ask, this, ask you this question, you get it right, you go on to tonight's final. You would really strike it lucky if you went to the opera. From where does the opera singer Dame Kiri Takanoa originate? New Zealand. Is that your answer? Yeah. You're going on to tonight's final. Well done, good, Charlie. Back you go. That's it, over you come. Well done, David. Barbara, well done, my love. I know you come down there, Sylvia. Well done, you've been smashing. All right. OK, let's tell you what you're going to take away with you tonight. Um, Tony and Barbara, you're taking away with you uh, a hostess trolley, a safari day out, the satin sheets, £150, uh, 150 pound, and both of you are going to be sent to Paris for dinner. So you enjoyed your day? Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Lovely to meet you, Barbara. All the best. Give my love to everyone. All right, there we go. Sylvia and Winifred, you've won uh, the cashmere sweaters, the larder fridge, and £200 as well. So there, thanks for all your advice as well on the parsnips and that. <laughs> and there we are, each and every one of you will take a copy of the game away with you, so you can play it at home or with the kids or whatever you want to do. And David and Charlene, you've already won a video recorder, Brands Hatch driving lessons, a new suit, or whatever for the two of you, a bedroom suite, a week in Spain, £150, a chance now to go for the jackpot. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Charlene, come this way here. Oh. Charlie, just stand there in front of me. And Dave around this side. Oh, you get plenty of encouragement. All oh, right, well, this could be a great night uh, as soon as your unemployment situation. We can cover the period, can't you? Get a job as well, be lovely. Thanks, so the best of luck. You go for our top money tonight of £3,000, no more than two hotspots, 2003, 1004. And as always, if you go for the top money, 300 for every successful move you make, 200 for 2000 so on. The prizes you've got are safe, you've got plenty of those. It's up to you to make your mind up before you do. The computer will jumble them all up. That's it, they've gone. What do you do? 1,000, 2,000 or 3,000? What do you think? Uh, this one. Uh, 3,000. Go for it. Yeah. Go for the 3,000. There we are. Come on, Charlie. There you go. All right. Uh, sincerely, it's not my money, so it's easy for me to say <laughs> I wish you the very best of luck, all right? Top middle of the bottom for your first 300. Where do you want to go? Middle. Middle. Hey? Middle. middle. The middle one for the first 300? Yes, yeah. that's it, we're off. OK, for £600, top middle or bottom, where do you want to go? Top. Yeah. The top one for £600? Yes, there we go, well done. OK, top middle or bottom for yeah, 900 Middle. The middle one for 900 Yes, well done. OK, for 1,200, top, middle or bottom, where do you want to go? Bottom. Bottom. Okay, bottom the bottom one. <laughs> oh. OK, 900 safe. OK, you've, still, you've done well so far. One more will allow you. For 1,200 pounds, top, middle or bottom, where do you want to go? Bottom. bottom. The bottom one again. A question. Oh. OK, this would be true or false. The movie Batman starred Omar Sharif. Is that true or false? False. Jack Nicholson, £1,200. There we go. Over you come. All right, well done. Just stand there. For £1,500, top, middle or bottom, where do you want to go? Top. Back up the top again. We're going to the top. Yes! Well done. Here we go. 
OK, now for £1,800, is it the top, the middle or the bottom? Where are you going to go? Middle. 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 The middle one for £1,800? Oh. Oh. For £1,500, all right? Yeah. That's all your hotspots gone. If a question comes up, it's always got to be right. Okay. Three screens to go. Now, you can do this, all right? Just with a bit of luck. Off. Top, middle or bottom for 1800 <laughs> Middle again, please. Middle. Middle. middle, please. The middle one again for 1800 Yes! <laughs> well done. Two screens to go for 2100 Top, Sorry. middle or bottom. Where are you going? Top one. Hey, the top one, please. Oh, no, 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 she's checking it. Bottom, bottom. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, the bottom one. The hey. bottom one. The bottom one. Sorry. The yes. bottom one. Come on, come on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 King Lear is a famous Bradford all-in wrestler. Is it true or false? False. Hey, it's false. false. <laughs> yes, he's out the 100. All right. <laughs> Terrifying moment there because she went for that. He was going. Ch -ch 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 <laughs> all right, this is it. You're going to jump all the way now, okay? <laughs> no hard spots. The question comes up. It must be right. You've got 2,100, so you're fine with that anyway. Let's go to the jackpot now. Is it the top one, the middle one, or the bottom one? For the jackpot and 3,000 pounds. Middle one. The top, the middle, or the bottom? Go Where on. are you going to go? Middle one. Hey, the middle one. The middle one for the jackpot. Come on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> OK, no help from the audience, please, whatsoever, because obviously we have to be... Well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> the real name of Hulo Inglesis is Manuel Tonsillitis. Is that <laughs> true or false? false. Oh. Jackpot! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you all right? Yeah. OK. You all right? <laughs> nice. Well done. <laughs> Come, on. Come over here. Yes, sir, boys. Come here. Ah, oh, well done. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at the screens. Let's see what they all were. Look at that. Look at that. You all right? Oh, dear. First bit of money in my life. Uh, oh, first bit of money in his life, he said. Oh, God. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Even shaking here, the two of them. <laughs> All right, now let's tell you what you're going to take with you tonight. You're going to—you've won a video recorder, the driving lessons at Brands Hatch. For God's sake, don't kill yourself here. You can't drive. Oh, can't drive it. oh, you can't drive. Oh, we'll forget. Them. <laughs> I love our researchers. They work out everything they do. <laughs> Uh, all right, video recorder, the brand's hats drive, you can take that whenever you like. Uh, the, the suits, the new suits, the bedroom suites, uh, the week in Spain, the money you won earlier, £3,150, it all adds up to a great evening and a nice little break for you. Yeah. And it give you, you can take a little bit longer looking for your job That's now, cool. can't you? Yeah. You've got to split much. the money? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever you do with it or whatever you do with your lives, as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. Good night, all right, bye bye. These are dreams that you never forget. That's impressive. I gotta watch. Lose yourself in movie magic this autumn with Sky Cinema. What's the endeavor? Well, I want to know about the British Empire in South Africa. I can give you some insight. Carry that. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Shall we? Being visible and relevant, it's powerful. I want to be part of history. Damn! People always call me monster. The story of my life. Fox, it's the loneliest place in the world. You need to be resilient and not to stay on the path. Being famous is a game. Do you think you're too powerful? We might never know the truth.